Welcome to another Tech Help Quick Tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. There are a ton of shortcut keys throughout all of Microsoft Office, and I found that trying to learn them all at once can be overwhelming. So don't try. I'm going to be presenting you with a new shortcut key quick tip every week or so. Try to work it into your daily routine. Over time, you'll remember them better and increase your overall productivity. In today's video, I'm going to talk about control period and control comma. These two keys will toggle backward and forward through your views, whether you're working with a table, query, form, or report. I use them most with forms. You can toggle between design, form, and datasheet views. They're also handy with reports. You can toggle between design view, report view, and print preview. Tables, they just go between design view and table view. And with queries, they go between design view, query datasheet view, and SQL view. I pretty much just use this with forms, though. It's much easier than having to click the form view button or right-click on the title bar. Let me show you quickly how it works. So here I am in my simple free customer template. And if I open up the customer form, if I decide I want to make a design change, I just hit control, comma, and I go back to design view. Right, done with that, control period, and you're back there. Throw in there a little control S, control save, right? Save it, so go back to design view, finish your edits, control S to save it, control period to go back to form view. That's nice and easy. You can also hit it again, control period again, to go to data sheet view, although I don't do that that often. All right, control comma, control comma, control period, control period. See how they toggle between the different states. Here's a simple report I threw together, right? Control comma, back to design view, control period, control period again. Now I'm in print preview. See that? Nice and quick and simple. Instead of right clicking, changing it here, or having to come up here and drop this thing down, right? Or down here. There's a million different ways to do things. But like I said, these shortcut keys, if you try to work a couple every week into your routine, eventually they'll become habit. And you're not going to overwhelm yourself. I've got giant charts that have hundreds of keyboard shortcuts on them. So I'm going to try to present one or two of these a week to you and just add them in slowly. Special shout out to Kevin Robertson, one of my longtime developer students. He posted this in my access forum on my website. And I had never used this before. I never even heard of it. I learned all the shortcut keys that I pretty much use on a daily basis 20 years ago when I first started using access. And they must have added these relatively recently because I never knew they existed until two days ago. So thanks, Kevin. Okay, so that's all for this quick tip video. Like I said, it's quick. For more videos just like this one, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com.